Hey guys, Gary here. Just want to give a quick update about what we just released. So I created a new file in Viscom and let's go to the 3D layers to just have some sort of input to work with. I'm going to click on this camera. I just set some view, add to canvas. Oh, by the way, a very cool thing to know is that if you added a 3D layer, it will be named as a 3D layer. And also it will be a bit special because you can click on this little downward arrow and here you have the option to edit 3D. And this way you get this view of the layer that has been saved and you can readjust the position of this thing. So let's adjust it and now you have the update layer icon. And this way you can keep editing this layer and not having to add a bunch of new layers for instance. Okay, but let's add some line work to this scene. Okay, I've just added some random line works to the camera. And now you can come to the create tab and just describe it as perhaps silver camera with brown leather strap. Strap around it. Set it to 70% and if you hit generate, you can now instantly cancel the process. If you change your mind about some parameters, let's adjust the drawing influence, for example. I didn't mean to do 70, I meant to do 65. And now you can just instantly cancel your process without having to wait all the way. And now you can also notice that this bar gets some new icons. So you have the hide the original canvas, which was before. You have the updated regenerate button. And you also have this add as layer new icon. If you click add as layer, it will add this image as a hidden layer to the layers tab. And you can see a little purple indication that a layer has been added. And this is a handy function because it will not disrupt your flow. So if you click on regenerate, then the renderings will be created out of your original canvas. You don't have to confirm and hide the layer in order to generate once again from the original input because you can see that it has been added as a hidden layer before. So let's see it again. We can maybe select this other style. And so this way your flow will not be disrupted. I can like save it as a layer but still regenerate out of the same image input. Okay, and, then, and I can confirm that and it will be then a visible layer for me, but all the previously saved layers will be in my layers tab waiting for me to develop those ideas further as well. So this would be that little updated workflow, which we just released. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you find it helpful and I see you next time.